here's my baby for like the fourth time getting food. I'm finding it really hard to still like this car. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. Good morning, family. What's going on? Um, so just had my car towed away yet again. This is like the third or the fourth. Or the fifth, sixth, seventh time that I've had to get this new car that I just purchased in August. Okay, August. But I've had to get it towed yet again because now finally I like, got a new warranty on the vehicle. Had to wait 30 days. I waited my 30 days. Now I was able to call the warranty and say, hey, <laughs> my car has a problem. Let's fix it. So, towed the car there. I don't know, these clip-ons really hurt. But yeah, so, car is getting towed there, and like I said, it's getting really hard to continue to, like, like this vehicle. Like, in all of the money that it's costing, like, all the diagnostics I keep having to pay for, like, it's, I just, it's getting really hard. Really, really hard to continue to like it. So, got the car towed off. I had a 9 a.m., appointment this morning just got off the phone with the um dealership that i just took it to i took it to an actual ford dealership because you know that's where the last warranty company told me to take it back to and they're the ones who gave me the quote of the 2200 dollars to fix the so-called issue of what was wrong with my car so took it back to them they called me and they're like oh um we quoted you 2200 but if we get in there and we see that it's actually a problem with your transmission and not with the clutch like we think it is, it could run you like 3500 Like, <sighs> You said what now? What now? So I'm like, okay, hopefully it's not an actual transmission issue, but I could have sworn when I had the other warranty and I took my car to you guys and ask for a diagnostic that I pay for out of pocket. And y'all were like, oh, it's just this recall situation on your transmission. That's the problem. Y'all fix the recall. Then when I bring it back to you the third time, oh, now it's the clutch. Like y'all couldn't have found that out when I brought the car for the diagnostic the last time. And it was actually covered under the force warranty. That would have been super nice. But of course, no. You don't find it then. You magically, mystically find it out after that first warranty has expired so whatever fast forward we're here now have a new warranty and the dealership is talking about like hopefully the dealer the warranty still covers the issue and they don't say that it's a pre-existing condition and then i would be responsible for it so i'm like well listen at this point call the warranty company tell them what the problem is See whatever they're asking for if they want like a history or something or if they're just like down to pay it like heavenly father please let them just be down to pay it and then if they say no call me back and i'll call and get my car towed up out of there because there's no way that i'm about to give y'all twenty two hundred dollars that's just a no so in the meantime, in between time, I still have other things that I have to do and need to continue to get ready for this vacation that is rapidly approaching. So I'm just gonna like let that go and not let it stress me out for the day. Like said a prayer about it. God, please look me out in this situation because <laughs> I just, I can't keep donating brain cells to this car. All right, so I had plans for today, family. Like we really were genuinely supposed to be going around picking up stuff for the trip. I did get a few things. I got the Dramamine. Um, I even picked up like a C-band thing. Got like toothbrushes, toothpaste, those little things. But then it got close to the time to pick up the boys from school. So came home, just was making like a little pit stop. We were supposed to be collect the boys, hop right in the car, go back out, finish getting what we needed to get. But then, the car got a flat tire. Cool. That's what AAA is for. Call AAA. They come out. 
they fix the tire. Then go back in the house, still not time to get the boys yet, so we're waiting. Then all we hear are gunshots. The perks of living in the ghetto. So, you know, hold on, I'm gonna call y'all back. Okay, I'm back. Just had to go do a, go make your dinner. Okay, I'm back. Just had to go do a little bit of straightening with my kids because they about lost their minds. But gunshots ring out. And of course, you know, living in the ghetto 101, when you hear the gunshots, you like stay away from the windows. You don't go to the doors. Don't need to be nosy. You don't need to see nothing. Because again, bullets have no name on them. So, you know, we just stay in the house. The moment it's time for me to go get the boys, I walk out. Cops everywhere. Apparently, those bullets found their target and two people were down. Like It was just a lot happening. So it basically just ruined the whole vibe for today. So we didn't go anywhere. We're not going to do anything else for today. I just made some of that TikTok feta pasta. We're going to eat dinner. We finished homework. We're going to go bath bed and be done with today. Okay, good morning family. It is a new day. I am in a better spirit. All right, got on nice, happy colors. Like, listen, today is going to be a better day than yesterday was. All right, because we are going to go out and we are going to finish getting the things that we need to get to finish packing for this cruise. My kids are downstairs, so I had to whisper. But we are. We are going to go out into the world and we're going to get everything that we need to get. And we will not be coming back home until it's time to pick up the kids from school. And then we will be coming in the house to shelter in place until the next day. But yay, it will be a great morning, an awesome morning. It's going to be great. All right, guys, and we are out and ready to start. Well, continue the start of our day. Um, children have been dropped off at school. Six of you. Children have been dropped off at school. Um, uh, I somewhat have a list of what I need to get. Um, I got C bands. I got regular drama mean, the pills. We already have the lanyards. Um, I need to find sandals for the boys. <sighs> I guess my list isn't that great because I already forgot. So let's write some things down, shall we? like the Bible or anything, guys, okay? It's not the Bible, it's just a pamphlet. Like those are daily bread books. If you know, you know. Okay, so um I need a string to be able to lace up my sandals. And the boys need The research that I've been doing about the cruise, you should have like a bag with like your immediate things that you'll need with you when you get on the ship because you're not going to see your bags until like later in the evening. So I need to get a big enough bag for that. Even though honestly, I don't really need to do that because I can just take my sub bag, well, my school bag, just empty it and I'll take that. No need to buy things I already have. All right, so I need to get the boys' sandals. Um, ribbon for my sandals uh what else what else what else 
I have Tylenol, I have Band-Aids. I don't know why I would need to bring my own first aid kit, but whatever. It's what everybody suggested, so. Uh, doing that, honestly, I think we're in pretty good shape as far as like everything we need. Um, I don't know. I'll probably find some other things as I'm out and about, but so far that's what's on the list. And I need to get it all done before 1230 because the boys get out of school early today. So yay. So excited. All right, first stop, Target for Starbucks and to look for the boys some sandals. shoe section was just it left a lot to be desired it was trash if I'm being honest um, but now there's also a Hobby Lobby in this um, I don't know what do you call this I don't know this little section it's also a Kohl's but I'm just gonna walk there because like it's literally right here like, takes less than five minutes to walk to it. Instead of getting in the car, starting it up, driving over here, finding a new parking spot. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna walk. But, and I know you're probably like, Hobby Lobby doesn't sell sandals. No, you're right, they absolutely don't. However, they do have oodles and oodles and oodles of ribbon or string or whatever you wanna call it. So I can come here and get what I need for my sandals. And then walk down the coals and see what their shoe situation is at. It's talking about. So much to choose from. Alright, so the sandals are like this color, but they have a silver sparkly bow on them. That's kind of cute. Hold on to this one. This one's kind of cute too. I don't know, that might hurt. originally showed you guys like the super sparkly one just because it wouldn't have like I still need to be able to tie this when I lace the shoes up and it wouldn't have happened with that one and I got a free reusable bag from Target just Walmart would never 
they just they would never okay so I went back got the car because Kohl's doesn't open until 10 so I have like five minutes to wait so we're waiting but while I was at Target I picked up um, like a Disney gift card thing well thing but a gift card but in all the research I've been doing via YouTube videos they were saying that like you get a discount on gift card purchases if you make them on like your Target card so I did that and it actually saved me money on my little gift card so can be with the boys if they want little souvenirs they can get it off the gift card mm. well, yeah now there's like a whole line set up at the Kohl's I just really hope that they have sandals because nobody else does and I just need a basic pair it would be nice And then while I was at Target, you know, you got to check out the dollar spot. I got these stemless wine glasses. They were on clearance. They were originally supposed to be $3, but they were 50% off. And I mean, did I really need stemless wine glasses right now? No. But at some point in time, do you need a stemless wine glass? Absolutely. So I bought them. And then this is the ribbon I ended up going for. Still sparkly. So it'll still match. I'll just, it's more stretchable. And it doesn't have like a plastic backing like the other one had. So I'll be able to tie it in a knot when I lace my sandals. But all right, the door's open now. Let me go inside. Okay, so Kohl's was a major bust. Um, they didn't have anything as far as shoes goes. Like all they had were some slides. They had plenty of slides. They had Nike slides, Adidas slides, Champion slides, all the slides. But slides are just shoes for my kids to lose. Like I can see it now. They would lose one and then it would it, it would just be horrible and I would be pissed because it'd be a waste of my money. So I didn't get the slides. And then they had like those Sonoma sandals. They're like, I don't know the sandals everybody's wearing now where it's like the strap by the toe and then further down the foot is another strap across I don't know I'm really not a fan of them but those were the only sandals they had for kids so I just was like screw it forget it and just left the store um but now we are in front of Aditi's discounts and a Ross and there's also a Walmart in this complex so I'm gonna try out these stores hopefully Jesus please I just need two sandals one for each boy like i'm not even going to get like a fantastically amazing different color like just a basic can i get like a neutral a black look at this point i'll even take a white sandal like just a something that can match with multiple outfits maybe even like some of the slide on shoes like the closed toed slide on shoes like some boat shoes some some type shoes but listen, if it doesn't have them in any of these stores, then I will, I don't know, maybe I'll try like a rainbow or something. Because at, at, at this point, I quit. Like I, just, I give up because this is insane how no one has kids sandals and we're in spring. Like I'm so confused as to why we don't have sandals in spring. All right. So here is majority of the outfits, like things that I've already set up over here my little mini mouse outfit so cute um shoes these were the sandals that we got string for when we went to hobby lobby aren't they so cute i'm usually not a fan of like the thong sandals and like the sole is super flat so i know they're not going to be comfortable but they're cute for the moment and then when i went into um dd's Dee discounts these were these sandals that i got thought they were cute because I'm gonna like I have an outfit set up for each night of dinner and I'll get more into that in another video when I do like my official pack with me video but 
then these are just some more outfits that I have like a dress and um like just biker shirts shorts and a top but then for the pirate costume I got Tia Dalma's necklace from Amazon flip that over and then this is my pirate costume and it's really cute it's got like, it's like brown and then the burgundy I did the lace up part yesterday and like the lacy off the shoulder sleeves like it's cute but here is a white skirt like it wasn't the fluffy skirt that I had saw and won it previously at Goodwill but when I walked in I found this one and I figured it would serve serve just as good a purpose so the only thing about it though is that it's white so even if it was the puffy skirt, I planned on dyeing it to kind of match this. So 